is a very short introduction to the idea of how to use that energy that peaks and troughs around the time of the full moon. But there is yet something else that is relevant here, and that is the signs that the moon is in. In astrology, we have 12 signs, and if you look carefully at the pattern that they form, it's very interesting. It goes Aries, Taurus, that's fire, earth, which means extrovert, introvert. Then we get Gemini, extrovert. We get Cancer, introvert. Leo, extrovert. And so on it goes all the way around, that pattern. Extrovert, introvert, extrovert, introvert. Extrovert means going out. It's that action of breathing out, projecting out. Introvert, bringing in, breathing in, assimilating. It's like a pulse, in, out, in, out. Again, that's a rhythm. It's a cycle. And so, when the sign, when the moon moves from one sign to another, what you actually have is a change of mood, a change of focus. Today, a day for action, a day for being out, socializing. Tomorrow, a day for introspection, for getting things done around the house. It's a natural rhythm. And the reason I called this talk tuning into the moon is because if we became <coughs> more aware of this natural rhythm, we would be working in sympathy with it. And I think that we would find that things would perhaps happen more naturally if we allowed ourselves to follow this natural rhythm. I've been writing a blog following the moon now for a couple of months and it comes after, you know, a long time thinking and working with the moon. And as I write it, the number of times that I notice that I write it in the morning having very different plans from the ideal of the moon and then suddenly my day changes and I find that I'm doing what I said I should be doing in the first place. It's quite remarkable. Only yesterday, for example, I was writing about the fact that the moon is in Virgo and it's a really good time to have a clear out, get organized, be thinking about how you want to improve your health and so on. And indeed, I thought, well, I'm having a bit of time off today. I don't know that I'm going to get all that much done. But I did. <laughs> Accidentally, I did. I saw a friend off and I thought, I'll just go and do a bit of work on my allotment. Five hours I was there. I had no intention of being there for five hours. It, but it was just, I, I had the inclination, I had the time, and it was the right thing to do. And that's what I mean, is that a lot of the stress that we experience in our lives comes from the fact that we are not allowed sometimes to follow our natural inclinations and at other times because we are not in ourselves in tune with what we naturally feel like doing. And if we just listen to that inner voice a little bit more, we would find that things go a little bit more smoothly. There is a time for everything. That's the other thing I've loved about working with the moon, is that rather than thinking that everything has to be done on a particular day, I realized Hmm, not such a good day to do that, but a very good day to do this. And so, just in spite of having all the usual things that must be done, regardless of where, where the moon might be, the rest of the time, I can actually balance a little bit more. And after all, we're all looking for that optimum work-life balance. The moon in astrology represents very much our internal cycle. It represents our instincts. 
and it also is intimately, intimately linked with our body and our body's rhythms. Listening to that can help us also, perhaps, to lead a healthier emotional and physical um, life too. So there are lots of reasons to tune in to the moon. It's not just about tuning in to the moon. It never is with astrology. That's where the mirror comes in. Tuning in to the moon is like looking at a mirror into ourselves and understanding what it is that we need to make us feel safe and comfortable today. That is what the moon represents in our charts. Security, comfort, our homes. So understanding what it is that we need to make us feel as safe and secure today can help us to feel much readier to go out and embrace the world tomorrow.